Hello, class. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher. El yeah. día de ahora solo, solo voy a poder estar conectada media hora porque llevo turno de cierre y estoy ahorita en mi trabajo. Oh. Entonces, ajá. Pero al menos mi hora de media hora de receso, la, pues la voy a recibir. Y cuando salga del, del trabajo, tal vez puedo conectarme un par de minutos todavía. Ok, ok. Um, thank you for making the, the effort of connecting. I really appreciate that. Um, you know, every, every little second that you can connect is different. So thank you very much for making that effort. Ok. All right, class. Um, welcome. How are you today? Pretty good? Good teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Thank you. good. We are in the middle of the week. Woo! Finally. <laughs> only, only two more days left of, of, of this week. Are we excited? Yeah, more or less? Excited? No. More or less. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm excited too. Only two more days. Okay, well, um, class, I'm, I'm happy to see you. Well, actually, I'm happy to see some of you because I can only see some of you. The other people I don't, I don't see. I can only see like half of the class. Okay, so it, maybe we can turn on our cameras. It would be wonderful so I can see your beautiful faces. Okay. All right. Wonderful. I can see you guys. Um, okay. Uh, first of all, before anything, I want to know how are we doing with the platform? Do you have questions? Do you have um, concerns? Are there any problems with the, um, with the platform? Like uh, maybe um, some error that you have found anything like that no no so everything is okay in the platform mm. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is okay in the platform then or no? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. All right. I hope so. If you have any questions, let me know, please. Okay? Okay. All right, class. Um, so, we are going to start uh, with our... Um, attendance. Okay. Um, just give me a moment. Okay, sorry guys, my computer is very slow today. It's become very slow at least recently. It took me a while also today to open up the Zoom. So I don't know, my computer is, I don't know if they're, I don't know, is it, is it just me? Um, or are computers lately been very slow? Because I've heard some people say that. Okay. All right, guys and girls, uh, we're going to start. Okay. All right. Thank you, Miguel, for letting me know. Got it. I got your message. Okay. Um, all right. So let's start with the attendance. We'll start with um, Alejandra. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Alejandra. Uh, Cristina. Present. 
Cristina? No, no Cristina. Okay, what about Annie? Annie? Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, excellent. Um, Mari? Mari? Mari's not here? Okay. Carolina? Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you. Um, okay. And what about Christina? Present. Okay. Good. Um, and Herson? Present. Okay. Very good. All right, and Karina? Present. All right, welcome, Karina. Good to see you. Linda? Linda? Okay. Julia? Present. Okay, very good. Julia, uh, is it possible to open uh, to open your camera? Uh, otro ratito porque estoy actualizando la laptop. Ah, oh, okay. Estoy del celular. Okay. Marlene. Marlene. Present. Okay, welcome. And Maida. Maida? No, no Maida? Okay, Miguel? Miguel? Is Miguel here? Oh, yes, he is. Miguel, can you open up your microphone? Can you hear me? Miguel. Hmm, okay. Um, Nelson? Present the chair. All right, welcome, Nelson. And Norma? Present, present. Ah, Miguel, okay. Okay, Miguel, um, can you hear us okay? Miguel, ¿nos escucha bien? We problem, teacher wife. I, I know, that's why I'm asking you. Can you hear us okay? ¿Nos escucha bien? Yo sé que está teniendo problemas con el Wi-Fi, pero por eso precisamente le estoy preguntando que si, si nos escucha bien. Eh, un poco cortado, Tich. Mm, ok. Va. Pero no está, no está lento. Eh, se traba por momentos. Ah, oh, ok. Ok, ok. Eh, ok, Norma. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Welcome. Olga. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Rafa? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome, Rafa. Sanaida? Sanaida? Where's that Sanaida? Okay, Suleima Rodriguez? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome. Angelia. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome, Angelia. And Nancy. Nancy. No, no, Nancy. Okay, Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Juan Carlos. And Karen? Present teacher. 
Okay, very good. Welcome. And Suleyma Milgar. Suleyma, no, la veo. Suleyma? No, I guess she's not here. Carla? Present. Okay, very good. Excellent. Welcome. Okay, I just want to make sure that I haven't missed anybody. So I haven't heard. Cristina? Linda? Mayra, Zenaida, Nancy, and Suleyma Melgar. Is that correct? Yes? Oh, me, oh se, me, se me escapó alguien. No? Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Very good, everybody. Um, Quiero ver qué es lo que le iba a decir. Iba a decirles algo antes de empezar. Um, no, ya se me escapó. Después, después, después se me, me voy a acordar. Ok. Um, ok. So, we'll start. Um, Just a second. Give me a moment. Que se me está trabando esta cosa. Que cuando uno necesita las cosas, todo se traba. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yeah. I can see. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Perfect. So this is a course English for Work program, Intermediate Module One, and the topic is how to use superlative forms of adjectives, and it's day number seventeen. Your facilitator is Jessica Lizette Guerrero. Okay. So let's begin. Yesterday, we had this conversation. Do you remember this conversation between Ruben and Jenny? Yes. Yeah. Actually, sorry, it was Ruben and Jenny and Ruben. Sorry. I don't know why it says there again, Javier. Just give me a second. It's just it's Ruben. Okay, sorry. Okay, so this is between Ruben and Jenny. What are we going to do is we're going to, I'm going to put you into pairs, okay? Um, and you're going to practice the conversation with your partner. Yesterday we did the pronunciation individually practice, and then you had the opportunity of asking what uh, certain words mean. And so now we are going to, um, we're going to practice. But then after you practice, you're gonna switch. So if uh, first you were Ruben, next you're gonna be Jenny. And if first you were Jenny, you're gonna be Ruben the second time. Also, you're going to be discussing these questions. Okay? Do I understand what we're going to do? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so let me get you into pairs. Um, give me one moment while I make the pairs. And I'm gonna give you, I think you can, you can do this in about six minutes, okay? Uh, remember, practice the conversation and then switch. Then at the end, answer the questions. Okay. Are we ready? Okay, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, teacher. The instructions are clear. Yes. Yeah. No quiero. Yeah, teacher. No quiero que, que se me vaya a confundir después de andenas preguntando qué vamos a hacer. O están haciendo otra cosa. So the instructions are clear. Just want to make sure. Yes. 
Okay, good. Yes. All right, excellent. Okay, so here we go. I'm opening up the rooms right now. Hello, Marlene. Are you having problems? Marlene, are you having problems? Hello, Marlene. On the on the on the afternoon until six p.m. We'll do it, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. The his question when when does Janet shift a start? Right from night to eleven a.m. Yes, yes, I think. Let's start at nine. Nine to eleven. Nine to eleven. Number one. Yes. Mm, at I think only at nine a.m. At 9 a.m. What? At not 9 a.m. In the number one. <laughs> the second one. What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Mm -hmm. A.m. Nine is when? When she started in 11 is when she finished. Then we start back at 1 p.m. and finish at 6. So I think, huh? Spare up, but in the in the in the answer of the first, we only write at 9 p.m. I am, pardon. Only. Yes. At 9 a.m. A.m. Yes. Even... No. Mm -hmm. No, I think. No. Night. Night. What's the Janet job in the restaurant? Is the host the hostess? 
नंबर टू Then you have to do from one to zero. Why that? Then you have to do from zero. Then it chip start start. So when does then it chip start? Um. Wendy. Okay. Permita. She started from Excuse me. Oh. You you have her. Sí, sí, pero ya ya estuvo. Eh. Oh. When does Jenny ship start? Eh, entiendo que dice cuando Jenny uh -huh. inicia o algo así su uh -huh. ah. star eh, she star the hostess from nine to eleven am ah, okay oh, sí. pero eso es lo de Rubén no no, él dice eso. Ah, tú, o sea, tú tienes él. que iniciar. Ajá, ok, ok. Él está indicando a ella. Ajá. Ok. Night to 11 a.m. <coughs> eh, what is Jenny's job in the restaurant? What is Jenny's job in the... Uh, La cajera, no. ¿Cuál es el tal ah, trabajo de ella? Uh -huh. En el restaurante. Mm. Hostes. ¿Cuál es hostes? Uh, hostes. Permíteme, lo vamos a buscar. Permíteme un ratito. Were, were you were you here yesterday? Um, Julia, were you here in um, amphit amphitryon? I don't remember, teacher. You don't remember? Uh, it's the vocabulary that we saw at the end of the class. That uh, you remember the the host is for a male, for a, for a man. Okay. For men. Yeah, and host, host is, is for a woman. For woman, uh -huh. Eso sí me acuerdo, pero... Yeah, so remember uh -huh. I said that they are the people that at the beginning, like when you go to a restaurant, they greet you, they say hi, they welcome you, and they take you to the, your table. Es un host. That's a host hostess. or a hostess. The hostess. Uh-huh. Jenny oh, is the hostess. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Um, yes. Wow. Yeah. The question. Okay. When does Jenny's chips start? The journey started night to eleven a.m. From nine to eleven a.m. Okay. Night night. From nine from to nine eleven a.m. To eleven a.m. Mm -hmm. And right. the second is, what is Jenny's job in the restaurant? From night to. I think that she she works as a waitress, right? 
She's a waitress. Hostess. She's a waitress. She will shift change. She will shift change. And she will be hostess. Hostess. Mm -hmm. Tell me what does it mean? What does it mean in Spanish? Um, la persona like, que uh, está like, en la puerta, dándole la bienvenida. Uh, hey, la hey, hey, thanks. Yeah. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to hostess. She? Oh, she works as a waste. Waitress. She? I think that Jenny is a waster. Mm -hmm. And the third question is, what does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Okay, so any questions that you have? Any um, any problems that you had with the pronunciation or the vocabulary in that conversation? No, it was all okay. Me, teacher. Teacher. Okay. Is is until or is is until? Mm. Es la, como la última, until. Ajá, la última. Until. until. Ajá, que en Google lo, lo dice de una forma, pero la compañera lo buscó en otro traductor y, y decía until, como until, algo así. Until. Ah, okay, until. Teacher. Until. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Y welcome. teacher. Yeah. Ya me tengo que retirar. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Teacher. All right. Okay, take care. Um, all right. Um, okay, so let's discuss these questions. Let's see um, what are the answers. Okay. One moment. Can you see my PowerPoint right now? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, good. All right, so first question, when does Jenny Jenny's shift start? When does Jenny's shift start? Me teacher. Hmm? Me teacher. Uh-huh, okay, go for it. Jenny Chief start from 9 a.m. at 11 a.m. Okay, um, very good. Um, okay, excellent. So, but the question is, when does Jenny Chief start? I just want to know when okay. it starts. When does it start? Today. Today teacher. It's just it's just one answer. So when does Jenny's shift start? At it starts at at nine a.m. At nine a.m. Exactly. That's when it starts. Oh, okay. We don't need the the other part of the nine a.m. eleven a.m. No, it just just it starts at nine. So she has to be working at nine. Okay, that's that's the time that she 
uh, begins her work. Okay, is that clear? Yes? Not, not. No? No. Okay, right here, it says here, you have to start covering for Gladys as the, as the hostess today from nine to an 11 a.m. So her start, her shift starts at nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not, not at 11. It's at nine. It starts at nine. Okay. Teacher in Spanish. Teacher in Spanish. O sea que lo que está pidiendo es el horario que va a tener. No. It says here. Mm -hmm. When does Jenny's shift start? Ah, okay. A qué horas inicia, digamos. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. But it, what, it, what the Thank beginning you. is at nine, Thank not you. at eleven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Yes, what nine. is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Jenny is a hostess. Jenny hostess. Very good. Mm hmm. Okay, Jenny is, Jenny's job is the hostess. Very good. Um, and what does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Ser... Sorry? Ser... Ser... Yes, she has to yeah. serve, right? So she's gonna be the server. Okay, so Jenny's job from nine to eleven is a hostess. Okay, that's mm -hmm. the, the job, hostess. And the verb for hostess is to host, Ho mm -hmm. to host. It's just like teacher, okay? I am a teacher and the verb is to teach, okay? okay. I am a teacher and I teach English. So Jenny is a hostess and she hosts people at the restaurant. Now, what does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? She has to serve. She will be yeah. a server. Uh, Her job okay. is Thank a you. server and she has to serve. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions that you have? No? No. Okay. Okay, next part. We're gonna, oh, no, hold on. Give me a moment. Give me one second. Okay, so we're going to, yesterday we learned a little bit about vocabulary um, for restaurants, right? We learned about hostess, host, server. Um, what else did we learn about? Um, oh, I forgot. Let me see. Uh, we learned about kitchen manager, executive chef, cashier, okay? So all those different vocabulary. Today, we're going to learn more vocabulary, but it's not specific for uh, restaurants. It's more general, general vocabulary. So please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint.
Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, wonderful. So we have this vocabulary, okay? Work, schedule, break, shift, overtime, and call in. This is like more general information that you can use in any workplace. Now, the instructions here are draw a line from the word to its correct definition. So we're going to work, we're going to be drawing a line. For example, work schedule. What is work schedule? It's a chart that presents a list of employees, um, the days of the week and times of the days they are required to work. So in a um, so a work schedule. It's a specific time that somebody has to work every day or every week they have a specific time that they have to work. That's a work schedule. Do we understand? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, good. I'm going to ask you to... Um, we're going to be working in pairs and we're going to be completing this. Okay. Um, I, I think we can keep your same group. I think so. Um, maybe I'll just like change one or two that um, have changed from the uh, same time. Um, Just give me a second. Quiero ver si todos tienen parejas. Sí. Okay. Okay. So um, this shouldn't take you too long. So I'll give you about six minutes as well. Okay. Um, are you ready? Do we understand the instructions? Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. I'm going to open the groups right now. Um, after watch schedule um, is break. Uh, oh, let me see. Uh, tell my my present. Teacher has all got. Uh, can Olga uh, share the screen? Oh, uh, sure. I'm going to, but for that, I need to go back to the main session. Uh, um, I have to, because from here I can't. Oh, okay. A moment. Okay. Um, oh, or, or, can you share the screen? I didn't take the. the... Try, try right now. Can you, can you do it right now? I'm trying, but. I cannot. Jefecita. Oh. Ahora sí. Hoy sí. ¿Me permite? Thank you. So, for the schedule, I'll share the present, I live and lead the day of the week. So, about break. Um, okay, break. 
is uh, the time of the day when a person works, a small period of time when a person can stop working. Work ah, sería la, la uno. Yes, the first one. Mm -hmm. well, a small that, period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Mm -hmm. okay. The second one. She's chief. Maybe the last one, the time of the day when a person works. The time of the day when a person works. Yes. Yes, I think this. Overtime? Overtime, when you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week. Mm -hmm. And the last I, one, hmm? sorry? Calling. Calling, uh -huh, the third one. To tell uh -huh. your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Yeah, sería the number three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vaya. Entonces, break is number one, chief is uh, number two, overtime is. No, no, chief is the last number one, five, three. number five. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. five, see, sí. five, um, overtime is number two, e calling is number three. Uh -huh. Okay. Only that. Okay, we finish. Okay. Uh -oh. Día de la semana y tiempo, dice. The day. Uh -huh. of the week and time of the day. Se quieren trabajar. De ahí porque el tiempo de trabajo, quizá. El horario de trabajo de todo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. Break, Break. Es, el, en, es en, en corto tiempo, o sea que se toma un tiempo corto para poder tomar Porque un descanso. Uh -huh. Chief. Uh -huh. Chief, the time of the day when a person works. Tiempo del día. Una persona toma para. Ah. No. No, es el tiempo de la persona del día cuando la persona cambia, hace como las cosas, sí, ¿verdad? The time, dice, cuando una persona trabaja. ¿Cómo es eso? Ya no entendí. The sí, time sí, day. cambio. El tiempo of the day. Del día cuando una persona trabaja. No entendí. Teacher. Ah, no me está oyendo. Okay. Yes. Ah, eh, chief. Um, the time of the day when a person works. In, mm -hmm. in Spanish, el tiempo. No, the time of the day. Your time. We're not. We're talking. We're talking about time. Like, like right now, the time is eight forty, uh, eight forty nine. That's the time. Ajá, pero sería. Lo que pasa es que ya practicamos, lo hablamos y, y ya lo hicimos, pero estamos viendo qué significaba en español. Ajá, but do you understand time? Tiempo. No, no, oh. not in that context. What, what time is it right now? What's the time? What's the time? 
time. Hora. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. In that context. Ah, la hora del día cuando una persona <laughs> trabaja. Exactly. No, pero no. No entiendo. Okay, so, so the time of okay, the day. For example, for example, my shift as mm -hmm. a teacher, my shift starts at 8 o'clock and finishes at 10, 12, 10, 10, 10. That's my shift. Como el periodo. El, ese, el lapso de tiempo. At the time that I have to work. Okay? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, yes, but we're talking about, that's what we're talking about it in a different context. Uh, All right? Yeah. Uh, Does that make sense? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. Well, thank you. It's turno, yes. But, mm -hmm. turno. For example, my chief, the word tomorrow is the 7 a.m. at 4 30 p.m. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Are you finished or do you need more time? No. Yeah. Finish. You're finished? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. We are okay. going to return to the main room in a moment. Okay. 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 Thank you. Right. You're Thank welcome. You. Okay. All our time when you. Time. Cuando tú trabajas no te lo regular. Okay, very good. Are we ready to check now? Yeah, you have the answers? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Very good. Okay, let's check the answers, what we have here for the vocabulary. Um, okay, give me a moment. Okay, can you see? Yes, we can teach you. Okay, all right, so here's the vocabulary. All right, and we're going to be drawing the lines, okay? So you guys are gonna help me with this. So for the first, the work schedule is a chart that presents a list of employees, the days of the week, and the times the days of the days they are required to work. So it, it says, okay, fulanito, menganito, sotanito, right? Y um, menganita. So you have the names of the people and then you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And they has the, the times of the day. So, um, you know, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., all the way up to like, 12 p.m., for example. And then they will show Fulanito has to work at, from this time to this time. And then Menganita from this time to this time. And Sutanita from this time to this time. Right? Okay. So that's the work schedule. Now, break. Let's talk about break. Um, Herson, please help me with the break. What do you think? What do you think is the possible answer? Uh, a, small period, a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Wonderful, very good. There you go. 
a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. It's a small period of time, short. So it doesn't mean when you finish working for the day, no. A break is maybe five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, maximum half an hour, okay? But it's a short period of time where they can just have time for themselves. You can, they can go to the bathroom, they can eat, they can do whatever they want because it's their time. Okay. In, in my company, we have two break in the afternoon and in the morning. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, yes. Yes, Harrison? Sorry, I cut you off. We, we had two break in the morning, 10 minutes and 10, 10 a.m. in the afternoon and at 3 p.m. to 10 minutes. Yeah, to 10 minutes? Yes, 10 uh, minutes. Okay, good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, exactly. Normally, uh, when you work a full hour of eight, a full hour shift, like uh, eight hours, you like think by law, you need to have two breaks. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so can, like I said, it could be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, good. Shift. What is a shift? Uh, Argelia, please tell me what this one, Argelia. The time of the day when a person works. Excellent, exactly. So my shift, uh, as a teacher, I have the night shift um, because I work at night. Um, some people, some of my coworkers have the morning shift. They work in the morning. Some of my corner coworkers have the afternoon shift. They work only in the afternoon, okay? And some only have the weekend shift. They work on the weekends, okay? Okay, so that's the time of the day. So the period of time when the person works. Okay, very good. Karen, can you help me with um, overtime? Overtime, when you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week. Very good, exactly. So in El Salvador, um, a full-time job is 44 hours. If you work more than 44 hours, that is overtime, or also known as short, we also call it for short, we call it OT, okay? So in many jobs, you might hear people saying OT. And OT means overtime, okay? It's short for overtime, okay? All right, next we have call in. Um, and Julia? Can you help me with call in? To telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Very good. That one was a difficult one. <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent. To telephone your workplace to let them know that you're going to be absent or late. So um, when you call in, let's say you have an emergency and you know that you will not make it on time, you start work at eight o'clock and you had the emergency at 10 minutes to eight and you're not going to be able to be there on time. So what you do is you call, you work, and you say, sorry, I have this emergency. And um, also, you can call in when you're sick. So you say you wake up in the morning, and 
you're feeling horrible, you need to go to the doctor, you call in and you say, sorry, I'm very, I'm very sick, I'm gonna go to the doctor. Okay, any questions about this vocabulary? No, teacher. So everybody's clear on this vocabulary? For me, it's clear, teacher. Thank you. For me too, teacher. Okay, good. Excellent, excellent. Okay, I'm going to take attendance right now. It's exactly nine o'clock. It's time for attendance. So, here we go. Um, Give me a moment. Okay. Um, give me one moment. Okay. All right, so here we go. Uh, Alejandra? Está trabajando, teacher. Ah, es cierto. Okay. Uh, Cristina? Present, teacher. Okay, Present. very good. Uh, Mari? Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ani. Primero Ani. <laughs> Present teacher. <laughs> no, no era mi intención. <laughs> okay. All right. Mari. Mari. No está Mari. No está Mari ahorita, no. Okay. Pero si estaba al principio, ¿verdad? No, teacher. No está. No. No, no sé por dónde. No sé por qué le había puesto que estaba acá. Ok. Um, Carolina. Present. Uh, Christy. Present. Okay. Person. Present. Good. Karina. Present. Good. Linda. Present. Ok. Very good. Uh, Julia. Present. Um, Marlene? Present. Very good. Uh, Maida? Present. Okay. Um, Miguel? Present. Okay, very good. Um, Nelson? Present. Ahí está Marisol ahorita, entrando. Yes, hi. Ah, there you. Good evening. Good evening, Mari. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Um, Mayra? Present, teacher. Okay. Miguel? Okay, very good. Um, Nelson? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Norma? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Olga? Present teacher. Thank you. Rafa? Present teacher. Very good. Um, uh, Sinaida? Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Suleyma Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. 
and Stephanie? Present teacher. Argelia, okay. Okay. I sent you a message. Yes, I saw it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, you're welcome. And um, let's see. Uh, let's see. See, uh, Nancy. Nancy. No, Nancy. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, se desconectó Juan Carlos. Okay, what about uh, Karen? Present. Okay, good. Uh, Suleima Melgar? Suleima Melgar? Is not here. Uh, and Carla? Present. Okay, very good. Okay. And so we're going to continue here. Um, give me a moment. Okay, everybody can see my PowerPoint, right? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. So um, we have here, so we're gonna be looking at schedules. Uh, this word here, I know it looks a little weird and maybe it sounds a little bit difficult to pronounce, but it's not too, too difficult. This word is schedule, schedule. Only two syllables, schedule. Schedule. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to write, I'm going to do something in the chat. I'm going to write what it sounds like if you are going to literally say it phonetically. Okay. So it sounds like this. That's phonetically. Hold on, hold on, wait a sec. Wait, wait, wait. That, that's if you're, you, that's in, in English, right? Okay, but um, yeah, because I'm, I'm saying because the, the sound of the J is different in English than in Spanish. Okay. All right, got it? So schedule. Schedule, schedule. Okay, so anyway, so we're gonna be looking at the schedules here. Um, so instructions, look at the schedule and answer the questions below. So here we have a schedule. Like I told you the schedule, the work schedule has the name of the people. We have Laura. Now notice this word is, this name is not Laura. In English, we don't say Laura, we say Laura, Laura, which is not Laura. That's different. Okay, Laura is, that's a word in Spanish, but this is not Laura. It's Lor, Laura, Laura. Okay. And then we have Thomas and Sophia and Carlos. Then we have um, the shifts by dates. We have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And um, we have here um, the, what they have to do, right? Uh, what, what their position is, right? And also um, when they are going to work. So for example, Laura only works six hours on Tuesday. Actually, she works six hours every day from Tuesday to Friday. Um, but for example, in Thomas's case, his schedule rotates. If you notice, uh, he works from 12 to 6 p.m. And then over on Thursdays, he works from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. 
Okay, so some of them are different. So look at the schedules and answer these questions. The question says, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Friday? When is the dishwasher's day off? How long is Thomas's break? What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? Uh, sorry, what is Sophia's job in the restaurant? When is her vacation? And when is Carlos on training? What is the schedule on Friday? Do we understand these questions? Yes, Tisha. Yeah? Yeah. So these questions you're going to answer according to the schedule, okay? So I'm going to put you in two pairs. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put you into pairs, but I'm going to uh, mix it up. I'm not going to have the same um, groups, okay? Okay, so. Okay, are you ready? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Let's open up the groups. Number one, the person in chair is the chief, is the teaching manager. Mm, yes, yes, I think it's the kitchen manager, Laura. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. When is the dishwasher day off? Wednesday. Dishwasher day off is Wednesday. Um, yes. Um, how long is Thomas break? 30 minutes. Um, Thomas break uh, plus 30 minutes. 30 minutes. The next one, what is Sophie's, Sophia's job in the restaurant and when is her vacation? Uh, Sophia job of the Sophia Joe of the restaurant is a bartender and her vacation a Friday and Saturday. When is Carlos on training and what is his schedule on Fridays? Uh, Carlos is training on Tuesday and his schedule on Friday is 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yes, only that. Right. Yes. I'll finish. Okay. Finish the show. Finish. Okay, if you're finished, then start talking about other things, like talk about your schedule. Okay. Okay. What what what's your schedule like on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? When's your break? Um, things like that. Okay. What's your position? Okay. 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 Let's start you yeah. with uh, yes. one hour break. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. 
question? No. <laughs> No, no. For now. For okay. now. <laughs> okay. Only this question. Um, five question. Yeah, five. Repeat the question again. Okay. For practice. Okay. Okay. Number one, who is in charge of purchasing mm. food from Tuesday to Friday? That is Laura. Mm. Number second. That's the number one. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yes, the, the, kitchen, the kitchen manager is in search of fortunes and food from Wednesday and Friday. That is and number is, seven. That is Laura, okay. Mm -hmm. Question number two. When is the dishwasher day off? Mm -hmm. It's on Wednesday. Okay. Laura. <coughs> Laura. Laura. <laughs> is the when is the dishwasher? Laura. Laura. So come on, Laura. <laughs> Laura. Not Laura. It's Laura. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> yes. Laura. <laughs> Laura. Okay. <laughs> Wednesday, Termini. the second, the second is Thomas. Uh, no, no, when, the question no, no, is no, no, no. when, when is the when dishwasher? Is the dishwasher is Wednesday. Day of. Mm -hmm. And how long is Thomas break? Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Okay. What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? Bartender. Yeah. And when is her vacation? From Friday to Saturday. Mm -hmm. And the last one, when is Carlos on training? Tuesday. 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 And what is his schedule on Friday? From 8 a.m. to 6, 6 p.m. And yes. Okay. Yes, finish. Thank you. Finish. Finish, teacher. Okay, but you can, you can continue talking about other topics. Yeah, like no, uh, no. you can ask your partner what in um, what their what their schedule is like. Yeah, so you can talk about your own schedule. Okay. 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 What what is your schedule? Así es. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay. 
Can you guys hear me? Rafa, Nelson? Yes, yes I can hear you. Yeah, okay, what happened? You're so quiet. ¿Qué pasó? Guys, what happened? You're so quiet. Nothing to do. ¿Qué pasó? Why, why, why are you so quiet? Guys, what does it mean? quiet, quiet. Uh, okay. Wait, why? Why are you so quiet? Después, después de siete, ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we need to practice our English, right? If if you don't, if you just be quiet, if you never say anything, you're never going to get better. Okay? So remember that. Practice your English. Okay? Okay. All right. Uh, I will see you in the main room. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so we're finished with the questions. You finished answering? Yes? The number yes. one, we can, we can see in the schedule. Ah, okay. Well, we'll, we'll look at it in a moment. Okay. Um, I wanted to mention something. Um, when I was going into the groups, everybody was talking, everything. But then when you finish the questions, people went silent, okay? Remember, the idea is to practice your English. So if you finish discussing the questions, ask more questions, make a conversation. This is the opportunity that you have to be able to practice your English. So don't just say, finished, and then, silence. No. Continue asking, asking questions. Continue the conversation so that uh, you have more practice and you will start to lose your fear of speaking. Yes? It's only one person. You're only with one partner. So it's easy. Okay? All right? Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. I, I want to expose you as much as possible to the language. So use all the, the time possible. Okay, so let's discuss these questions. So who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Friday? The kitchen manager, uh, in this case, is Laura. Exactly. The kitchen manager who is Laura, Laura. right? In the schedule, it's Laura. Very good. Remember, Laura, not Laura. Mm -hmm. it, you, you, it's not, this, it, imagine. Noah. Imagine that um, the you does not exist. Okay, so. It's not, so it's like Laura, Lo, Laura, okay? 
All right, next. When is the dishwasher's day off? The washer. Mm -hmm. When is the, the washer? The washer's day off is Wednesday. It's Wednesday, exactly. Very good. Excellent. How long is Thomas's break? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Uh huh. Exactly. Very good. Mm -hmm. And how, sorry, when is Sophia's job? Sorry, what is Sophia's job in the restaurant? She's bartender. Yeah. He's bartender. Yeah. He's bartender. bartender. Excellent. When is Carlos on training? Huh? When is Carlos on training? On Tuesday. September five. Tuesday. That's right. Um. What is his schedule on Friday? Um, his schedule on Friday is 8, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Good. From 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. From 8 a.m. From 8 a.m. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Do you understand schedules? Do we understand schedules or no? Yes? Here for everybody? Okay, good. All right, so in that case, what we're gonna do is move on to the next activity, which is means your turn. So this is your turn to create something. So you're gonna work in pairs, join your assigned breakout room, Use the model above to create a basic schedule for five employees at your company. Share your schedule with the class. And pretty much this is the example, right? So we have, right? This is the example of the schedule you're gonna be creating. So you can, um, you can share with your partner different ideas of your class, of your coworkers, schedule. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, teacher. Any questions about the instructions? Sorry, I, I don't know if somebody was talking. For me, it's clear, teacher. Okay, good. Teacher, for me, for me, repeat, please. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. So you are going to create a similar, similar schedule to this for people in your workplace. Um, let's do six people. Let's do six people. So. You can okay. write the names of the people, maybe three people from your work and three people from your partner's work. And then you can write down the days, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and write down their, their position, when they start and finish work, and how much time, how much time they have for their break. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. So similar to this, you're gonna create your um, schedule. Is that clear, Miguel? Is that clear? It's clear, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Stop sharing. And I'm going to create new breakout rooms because. Um, the ones before, some people were, are not here, some people got added, so let me create a new one.
okay? Um, I'm going to give you 15 minutes approximately, okay? If you need more time, uh, we'll, we can do that too, okay? Here we go. Uh, Nancy e. Suleima, are we having problems? Suleima? Suleima, are you having trouble to connect? At the same point, what is what is number? Uh, number uh, number six. Uh, twenty six. In the page. Yes. Uh, what is number? What is number? Seven, six, five. Excuse me. What is number? Uh, 76. Okay. I don't understand it. Then the court at the schedule for the sample in the page 26, we may create a schedule for five co worker. Ando perdido, eh, uh, ando perdido realmente. Me dice la página 26. Ando vaya, perdido, le estoy ahorita. diciendo, vaya, le estoy diciendo que en la página 26, o al menos es. Yeah. All right. Uh, yes. We have to do a schedule. And I, I have idea. Let me see. Okay. I, I share with you my screen, but we we work. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hola, hola. You can see the, the screen. Yes. Permítame. Okay. And, and the Excel is. is it's better to do the schedule. Mm. Okay. okay. Wednesday. Okay. Uh, 22. The other one is Tuesday. And Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Friday and no, 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 Right there in service. Okay. Um, Sorry. Set. Okay, start. start. 
Attorney. And let me see the names. Okay. Bye. Mm. One, two, three. Two. Um, mm. Five people. Five people. Mm. How many people? Okay. Um, in the sketch, five. Okay, Monica. Yes. Uh -huh. Monica. Mm. The first one, Monica. Uh huh. Next okay. one. Uh, Amanda. Amanda. Uh -huh. And uh, next one. Carlos. Carlos. Okay. Okay. Monica. Um... Carlos, Carlos, next one. Mm. Nancy. Hi, Carla. You asked for help? Hello, teacher. Um, yes. We can we can do only one schedule for both. Or we can Yeah. Like maybe it could be like three and three um co-workers. So three co-workers for you, three co-workers for Suleyma. Okay. Because in my in my company we only are four four person. Perfect. Okay, so three and three. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Okay. Mm. So, um, super. Where do you work? Uh, I work in a, I don't know how to say, just to eight. A, yeah. a Eight a.m. Uh huh. A.m. Five. Uh huh. Five p.m. There. Five p.m. Yes. Uh huh. Kitchen manager. Five p.m. Kitchen manager in. Right. In the break. Um, break. Um. Uh, one hour. Or in one hour, it is a year. Thirty million. Oh, oh uh, one hour. hour. Eleven, eleven, I am. Eleven, I am, tal vez. No. No, no, no. No, oh, for the break. One p.m. 1 p.m. El, el break. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh, por eso, 1 hour break. Ajá. Uh -huh. 1 hour, vamos a poner 1 hour. Y la hora va a ser de. Siempre. 1 p.m. De 1 at. 1 eh, at. 2 eh, p.m. 2 p.m. sería. Yes, sí. Okay. No, no llevaba hora, solo decía el break and how in the sample. Pero, pero acuérdese que, um, eh, eh, bueno, nosotros lo podemos hacer si queremos Con diferente. Horario. O sea, ajá, pues sí, para tener específico la hora en que él, en que él tiene su, su break. Ok, en eh, mm. entonces el horario de trabajo de 8 a 5 lo vamos a dejar. Sí, sí, así dejémoslo porque eh, según el ejemplo. Uh, about 8 p.m. on Wednesday. 
Wednesday from Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. From? From 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Wednesday and mm -hmm. so Wednesday 7 a.m. to 12. 12. Oh. And Thursday mm -hmm. from 1 p.m. to Eight. 7. 7 p.m. and Friday one and seven yes and one. Friday yes one p.m. to seven p.m. Mm -hmm. and Friday from eight a.m. to one p.m. and mm. One and hour. They for... they what? Oh my goodness! I forget. Okay. I forget. Monday. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Day off. And the break. Day off. Break one hour. Um, Julia doesn't have a day off. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yes. Other name? Other name. A meme. What? A meme. Un hombre. Ah, yes. Um, mm. Oscar, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's um, of maintenance. Maintenance. Mantenimiento. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her, uh, his schedule is like the manager, I think, because he's um. What is? Uh, like like manager mm, from nine a.m. to one p.m. Mm -hmm. The same. The same, I think. In the break. One hour. Thirty minutes. Oh. Yeah. Thirty minutes break. Okay. In the rest, no, on vacation, no. Mm, maybe on it's... Wednesday, Wednesday. No. On Wednesday, I think uh, Thursday and Friday, Va vacation. Today. Two days. Yes, I think. Two days and or, when? Uh, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. Ah, uh, Thursday and Friday. Yes. Mm, okay. Other name? No. Five and five. Five and five, day security. Okay. <laughs> I 
I think, for example. Okay. I think for the poor people. <laughs> okay, and fine. I am at at five p.m. But what is the schedule for Saturday? Tende también tiene que estar a, a la misma hora. Martin Girls Games. Tames. Ten AM. Ah, Tame, Tame. Ajá, Ten AM. Seven. AM. Ten AM. AM. Seven PM. Seven PM. Ok. Day of. Train. Hello? What happened? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Yeah. Hello, what happened? Um, we are doing <laughs> the schedule first, uh -huh. and then we are we are going to say. Okay, but you're finished? Me, yes. Yes. So you, you work together, right? Mm, I yes. Do. Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. I want I want you guys having a conversation. Remember what I said before. Um, it's not just about doing the activity, but also about practicing English, right? So if you're um if you're finished, continue practicing with your partner English. That's the idea. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to say then. PM, 8 p.m. night. Este, she can left the cashier. Okay, twenty minutes break. Twenty minutes break. Okay, and we are going to give to her one day off. That could be on Tuesday. Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, okay, Tuesday. Okay, okay, they are home. And she will be the same uh, uh, Monday, oh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, only day off? Um, uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. And every half? Huh? Okay, Tuesday. And Wednesday, Wednesday, and one hour lunch. Oh, Friday is day off. Oh. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, what happened? Hello, it's finished. Uh, uh, um, 
and no satisfaction. Okay. Um, the schedule. You finished the schedule. Good. Yes. Remember, yes, yes, the idea is to continue practicing English. So don't just be quiet. Continue speaking. Okay. You can yes, talk about uh, your schedule. And problem is, and problem is, uh, in my work, uh, the schedule not adequate in my work. Uh -huh. uh, in my work, uh, the schedule uh, are stable. Uh, I mentioned the. Uh, the most uh, relevant in my work in position. Uh -huh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, but um, like you can you can be creative and um, make things up, right? So it doesn't have to be reality necessarily. Just the idea is for you to practice. That's the most important thing. Okay. So we're ready? We're ready to present? Yeah. Yeah? Olga, you ready? Yes, yes teacher. It's the same with Miguel. In my case, the office is one, one schedule for, for all employees, but I'm trying to to organize the schedule in general. Yeah, you can be creative, right? That that's the idea. So, you know, just have fun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, de pronto el de seguridad tiene un 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 horario un poco diferente, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or the okay. Or the person that does the 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 like the janitor, the person that cleans, maybe they have a different schedule too. My boss uh, sometimes work a lot of overtime. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. So mm -hmm. think about those people. Okay. Okay. All right. See you in a moment in the main room. See you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Eh, Rafa, why are you alone? Who are you working with? Finish. I think so. I think so. Finish my work. Okay. Who are you working with? Were you with with Mar Marlene? Marlene, Marlene, do you, your your phone is low battery. Mm, okay. So she, you were working with her. Okay. She's coming back. Um, but I'll see you girl, uh, I'll see you guys in a moment, okay, in the main room. Okay. Hi, sorry, my connection is, I don't know. <laughs> okay, welcome, welcome again. Thanks. Hi girls, what happened? Hi teacher, we, Hi. we finished. We finished. Okay, yes, remember, teacher. when you're finished, don't just be silent, talk, right? Have a conversation, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay.
Okay. All right, class. Are you ready? Are you finished with your um, your schedules? Are we ready to present? Yes. I teacher. need more time, teacher. You need more time. Okay. Yes. Um, how many groups are finished? Um, but let, let, actually, you know what? Let me ask individually. Um, Ani, Caro, uh, Carolina, and Mayra, are you finished? Yes. Okay. Gerson and Nancy, are you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, yeah, teacher. Christine, Christy and Zenaida, are you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, teacher. Ah, uh, uh, yes? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, Karina and Suleyma, are you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Um, uh, Chris. Uh, Cristina and Nelson, are you finished? No, teacher, no falta poquito. Uh -huh, okay. All right. Um, what about um, Carla and Linda? Are you finished? Yes. Okay, good. Um, and Karen and Norma? Finished, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Miguel and Olga? Finished, teacher. You're finished? I, I finished, yeah. teacher. Yeah, we're fi you're finished? Okay. All right. Marlene and Rafa, are you finished? Yes, finished. Okay. Finished, teacher. Wonderful. And Mari and Julia, are you finished? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, wonderful. All right, so what we're gonna do is tomorrow, at the beginning of the class, we're gonna present. Por favor, no vayan a faltar y no se conecte tarde porque si no su compañero va a estar así solito, ¿verdad? Entonces, si no queremos ser mal, mala gente con su, con su compañero, ¿verdad? Queremos apoyarlo. Entonces, eh, let's connect on time and don't be absent, okay? And we're gonna be presenting that tomorrow. Now I'm going to take attendance and as usual, I'm gonna ask you to open up your microphone quickly so that we can quickly take attendance. Alejandra? Alejandra, no, right? Um, Cristina? Present, teacher. Annie? Present teacher. Mari? Present. Um, Carolina? Present teacher. Christy? Present. Um, Herson? Present. Karina? Present. Linda? Present. Um, Julia? Present. Okay. Uh, Marlene. Present. Present. Okay. Um, Maida. Present. Miguel. Present. Present. Wilson? Present. Uh, Norma. Present teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Rafa. Present teacher. Tonaida. Present teacher. Suleima eh, Rodriguez. Present teacher. Argelia. No, right? Uh, Nancy. Present teacher. Eh, Juan Carlos. Karen. Present teacher. Uh, Suleima Melgar. And um, Carla. Present. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, guys, um, uh, today is Rafa's turn. 
So I will stay with Rafa and that will be it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. No se olviden de conectarse temprano. Okay? All right. So see you guys. Bye-bye. Have a good, a good night. Thank you so good much. Night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Perdón, no me saludo. Perdón. Good night, teacher. Good night. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita me salgo. It's okay, don't worry. No, no problem. Hello, Rafa. Hello, teacher. Uh, how are you? I feel very, very well. And yeah. you, teacher? I'm pretty good. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so, Rafa, how can I help you? You don't have to tell me in Spanish, in English. You can tell I me. Need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need more sound learn. <laughs> no, teacher. Este, en realidad no había hecho este, todo mi, mi bosquejo de lo que le iba a preguntar. Oh, okay. <laughs> pero, pero, ahora me, me puede evaluar mejor. <laughs> me puede evaluar. De ahí va a sacarme. Vale, cuénteme, ¿qué es lo que más le está costando? En realidad, en really, en really, in my, in my, in my, my situation, uh, the pronunciation, uh, era uh, give me a second please. Okay. Diga, digamos más que todos en la, en la audición. Listening. Listening. Mm -hmm. la oh. listening. Tal, yeah. Porque tal vez a veces. Uh -huh. Perdón, sí, sí. Porque vi. ya por, por, el, por el nivel que estamos y tal vez no practicamos eh, todas por las palabras que vienen nuevas. Uh -huh. y, y a veces cuando las escuchamos y, y tal vez a la primera no, no la entendemos. Uh -huh. Pero digamos ya, ya hasta esta altura yo siento que ya hemos avanzado. Sí. Porque al principio sí, al principio sí no hablaba. <risa> Y la teacher mucho habla inglés. Ya me batió, dije. Estaba bien calladita al principio, me acuerdo. La verdad, sí. Sí. Y... Que quería que, que, que opinaran los demás. Ajá. Por eso. Y por el nivel, ¿verdad? Pero hay muchas frases que ya, ya las he comprendido. Pero una clase que no, no la... No, 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 no me acuerdo. Que me, que me costó que no lo entendí. Es el uso de en or, en or, on. Ok. Here. Here. En, en for, en nor, bad. Ah. So, los coordinaciones. Música, conjunción es correcto, yes, es conjunción. Ajá. Eh, conjunciones vienen de, de palabras que se conjuntan, eh, o algo que se, se conjuntan. Ajá, que, que se conjuntan, digamos, se combina. Entonces, um, eh, sí, de, de ahí viene, de, de eso. Um, y... Um, el coordinating es que coordina, ¿verdad? Prácticamente, eh, o sea, no solamente juntamos las dos ideas, sino que las coordinamos, es, De eso se trata, ¿verdad? Entonces, los coordinating conjunctions hacen precisamente eso. Coordinan um, las ideas, ¿verdad? Para saber si estamos agregando otra idea 
o es um, una idea um, contraria, ¿verdad? O si es que estamos explicando una razón de algo o estamos um, agregando una idea negativa, etcétera, etcétera. Por eso se llaman coordinating conjunctions, ¿ok? Ahora, um, voy a ver si puedo... Voy a compartirle esto. Entonces, so coordinating conjunctions son eso, ¿verdad? For and nor. Yes. But, yeah. So, entonces, solo, solo para recordarnos cuáles son, wow. porque son varias, eh, entonces utilizamos un acronym que es FANBOYS. Eso es un acrónimo FANBOYS. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos? Tomamos la primera letra de cada uno. Para acordarnos de que estas son las letras. Pero estas son las letras. Mm, ya, ya, ya. Ya está. Ya no es fanboys. Mm -hmm, fanboys. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Uh, uh, yes. Sí, ok, They muy will... bien. Entonces, por ejemplo, con and, esta está fácil porque esta es quizás una de las primeras palabras que jamás aprendió en inglés. And. ¿Ve? Agregar. ¿Qué es la palabra and? Sí. Sí, exacto. Entonces sí. le agrega. And uh, them, ¿Ah? Uh, one sample, uh, one sample, and then, and then, and the other way. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, for example, yeah. So, for example, I can say, I am eating a sandwich and an apple. Right? Entonces, le agrega, son dos cosas que estoy comiendo. And sandwich. Uh -huh. And apple. Is an apple. Entonces apple. lo junto. Y por eso es que dices adds one thing to another. Le agrega una cosa con otra. ¿Verdad? Estoy uh -huh. comiendo un sandwich y le voy a agregar también la manzana. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Ok. Yes. Clear. Right. Yes. El nor es lo mismo que el and. Solo que es negativo, es negativo. Ajá, para negativo. Ah, ah, eh, por ejemplo, no estoy comiendo ni un sándwich ni una manzana. Entonces estoy agregando las dos cosas, estoy hablando de, de, de que las dos cosas son negativas. Ni, no estoy comiendo el sándwich, no estoy comiendo la manzana. Entonces le voy a agregar, como en español decimos ni. Estoy comiendo, no, no estoy comiendo ni un sándwich, ni una manzana. Ese es okay. el... I ok, muy bien. Ahora, también otro que es muy común, que usted, um, sin lugar a dudas, también fue una de las primeras palabras que usted aprendió, además del and, es el but. ¿verdad? But. Y el contraste. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Por ejemplo, puede decir... Um, I'm eating um, a sandwich, but I don't have anything to drink. I'm eating a sandwich. So come here, sandwich. But I don't have anything to drink. Drink. Beber. No tengo nada de beber. Okay. Entonces ahí estoy contrastando, ¿verdad? Sí tengo para comer, pero no tengo para, para beber. ¿Ok? Ok. Clear. Okay. Va. También quizás esta es otra de las palabras uh, que, prim primeras palabras que usted aprendió, or. El or significa o, oh. oh, ¿verdad? Entonces um, estamos enseñando alternativas. ¿verdad? Entonces, um, ¿quieres un... 
Ah, eh, ¿Quieres cuál, cuál color? Eh, ¿Cuál color de zapatos uh, vas a comprar? ¿El negro o el Or, negro? Entonces sería, which uh, pair of shoes are you going to buy? The black ones or the brown ones? Tenemos dos alternativas. Or, or. Ok. Oh, ok. Clear. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Esas son quizás las más fáciles, ¿verdad? Ya vimos. Yes. Ya vimos estos. Ahora, el for es similar al because. ¿Ok? Entonces, show me, show me, show me, wow. uh, ¿qué es because? En español, ¿qué es because? ¿Por qué? Para por. responder. Ajá, es la razón, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, I cannot um, go on vacation. For I don't have money. I can't go on vacation for I don't have money. Ok. Ah, okay. Entonces es la razón. No puedo ir de vacaciones. ¿Por qué? Porque no tengo dinero. I don't have money. Entonces usamos el for. Ok. 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 Ok, muy bien. More, more clear. Ok, excelente. More clear. El yet um, es similar yet. al but. Ok. Um, solo, solo, no se complique con este. El yet es similar al but. Entonces el but es un contraste. Entonces el yet es similar. Pero también es un contraste. Ok. Eh, por ejemplo, um, eh, ay, no sé. Él no tiene mucho ni él no tiene mucho dinero, pero es muy es muy generoso. So he doesn't have much money, yet he is very generous. Entonces es como el yet se utiliza como el pat, pero en algo que un, uno no espera. Pero es, es como, el, es un contraste inesperado. O sea, si alguien no tiene mucho dinero, normalmente no, eh, no esperaríamos que la persona estuviera dando muchas cosas a otras personas. Pero, no, ese no es el caso. En el caso de, de la persona que estamos hablando, es muy generoso. Y, y eso es a pesar que no tiene mucho dinero. ¿Estamos okay. claros? Sí, yes. ah, okay. claro. Very good. Clear. Okay. All clear. Y el so es la consecuencia de lo que estamos diciendo. ¿Ok? Entonces, por ejemplo, um, eh, I... I lost my key. I'll tell you in Spanish. Eh, se me olvidaron las llaves de la casa. Entonces, um, so me, I have. Me quedé, entonces me quedé fuera de casa. ¿Ok? Se me quedaron las llaves adentro. Um, entonces, o, oh, ajá. Entonces me he quedado fuera de casa. So, I forgot my keys inside and now uh, so pero, pero, sorry pero, I forgot my keys inside so I am locked out okay I am locked out ah, okay. locked out significa eh, es, es que, que uno está fuera de casa que no bueno. puede estar okay okay Ok, pues sí, ya más, más comprendido. Excelente. Por, y... Ahí pasé. <ríe> ahí pasé, pasé, pasé. Ok, ok, no hay problema, pero lo importante es que ahora sí lo entiende. Y yes. otra cosa, que acuérdese que normalmente le ponemos una coma antes de cada palabra. Ok. Normalmente. Del sujeto, del sujeto. 
eh, o sea, de... la, después de la primera la, la, pre, el, la primera oración la primera idea eh, vamos a poner esto ok esto es por lo general sí. ok ok ya se si no me acuerdo uh -huh. ok alguna preguntita hasta el momento Ama. hasta hasta ahí vamos nice y ahora que estaba en este, bueno, eh, hoy haciendo mi ejercicio, vi en unas palabras, por lo menos en la calle, cuando el uso del ING, eh, ING eh, por lo menos, eh, una, por lo menos cuando dice, no, no smoking, no smoking cure, porque le agregamos, a, digamos, si queremos decir no fumar, y le ponemos, no smoking, el ING ahí. No, no smoking. Sí. ¿Por qué le ponemos ING? Sí. Pues porque es una actividad. Que las actividades, eh, muchas de las actividades que derivan de una, macho, todas las, sí, por así decirlo, las actividades que derivan de un verbo para crear una, para hacer convertirlos a un, una actividad, entonces le ponemos ING o la ING para crearlo en, en, para hacer que sea una actividad. De lo contrario es un verbo. Smoke. Uh -huh. Entonces smoke es el verbo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ar, pero quiero convertirlo en la actividad. Algo que uh -huh. le puede ayudar un poquito mejor es um, quizás porque a veces en español puede ser que no sea muy claro porque hay diferentes, o sea, eh, son casi iguales. Pero, por ejemplo, digamos esta. ¿Qué significa esta palabra? Nadar. Uh -huh, exacto. Sí. Entonces, es, no es, swimming, no swimming. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, to swim es el verbo, ¿verdad? Nadar. No, nadar. Pero si yo nadar, si yo no es una actividad. Entonces, si yo quiero convertir um, to swim en una actividad, Lación. entonces voy a hacer swim y le pongo doble M porque sigue la regla y el ING. Swim. Y ahora, ¿qué significa swimming? Ahí sería ¿Es? nadando. No. 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 Porque nadando es un verbo. Mm. Si yo digo nadando, yo estoy nadando, es un verbo. No es una entonces, ¿qué es swimming? Nadar. No, porque nadar es to swim. Mm -hmm. es, un, es una actividad. ¿Cuál es la actividad? No, no. Me doy por vencido. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. A mí me gusta. ¿Qué actividad? La... I like it. A mí me gusta la... Sería natación. ¿Ah? Natación sería... La natación. I like, in this, I like the swimming. I like swimming. I like swimming. Uh, Not that swimming, so I like swimming. Me gusta la natación. Uh -huh. Es diferente de nadar. ¿Verdad? La natación estamos hablando de la actividad. Uh -huh. En general. ¿Sí? More or less, more or less, I practice, I will practice. Ajá. Ok. Eh, o lo mismo pues, sucede con dance. To dance. dance. ¿Qué es dance? To dance en español? Bailar. O baile. Ba uh, no, 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 no. Bailar. Ok. Bailar. Bailar. Y dancing. ¿Qué significa dancing? Ya cuando lo... Con cuando le quito la e porque porque no le vamos, porque siempre le quitamos la e cuando termina en e y le ponemos a en g qué significa dancing ahora este es el este es uh, bailar y este es el este es bailar ¿Y este es? No. 
¿Qué actividad me gusta? Me gusta... Bailar. El... Pero no, el baile. El baile o la danza también podría ser. Ah, ok. Ok. Entonces okay. ya se convierte en una actividad. ¿Ya? O sea, no estamos hablando de que le gusta bailar en ese momento, sino que mm. la danza en general. La danza, estamos hablando de, cuando decimos la danza, estamos, podemos hablar de muchos diferentes ritmos, ¿verdad? Y que, que, que involucran a cultura, ¿verdad? Diferente música, instrumentos, eh, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es la danza. ¿Ok? Ya es algo más profundo, que solamente me gusta bailar. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok. All right. Ya me alumbró. Okay. <ríe> ya me alumbró de, 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 de la duda. <ríe> ok, esa es, la, es, de, es, esa es la idea. Este es mi trabajo. Me alegra, me alegra sí. que se haya podido a resolver. ¿Tiene alguna otra duda? No, teacher. Okay. Sí, con la que voy, la voy a ir anotando ahora. Ok, excelente. <ríe> sí, y ah, le iba a decir una cosa más. La próxima sí. semana... Eh, si usted quiere repetirse un, um, un día, ¿verdad? Quiere tomar ventaja eh, de que tal vez um, en esta sesión no se, no se acordó de preguntar algo, puede hacerlo la próxima semana. Eh, solamente me avisa que usted quiere cualquier día, solo me avisa que de antemano que usted quiere quedarse y pues arreglamos. ¿Ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Ok, entonces nos vemos mañana. Tomorrow. Ok. Ok. Have a nice night. Thank you, you too. Bye bye. Bye, Joe.